two. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hey, guys, welcome back. Joe here. Kevin. Uh, we have another episode of Shit's Creek here for you. Yeah. Um, just a just a heads up, real quick, guys. I am going on vacation next week, so when you're, if you're if if you've joined Patreon and you're wondering why your name hasn't been read, but somebody's have been read so many times, it's because I wasn't around for the week. But we will get. I will definitely we will get caught up on that when I get yeah, back. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But we're 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 not going to skip any any releases. Nope. Um, so we're we're kind of doubling up and everything because we love you guys. Yeah. We uh we don't want to leave you a week without without yeah. anything and wondering if we just quit and gave up. Um, so we're we're gonna we're gonna. Really crank stuff this week. We actually get to binge today. Right? Yeah, we, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna outfits, we're gonna double binge everything. If so. our outfits look the same as the last video, uh, don't don't skip the video. I know, like, These guys' hair didn't grow at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are just doubling down today. So they didn't change clothes. No, not at all. Um, last Shit's Creek, really, really, really loved it, man. Um, which we just watched. We had a great, great cover of uh, Tina Turner, simply the best. Oh man, by Patrick. Patrick. Uh, sorry, we we just finished, and if you watch that one, you know we don't know the actor's name. We haven't looked him up yet, and we you know what? I'm gonna do it right now. I'll do it right now. Yes, uh, guys got some skills for sure. Yeah, um, beyond for being sure. an exceptional actor, man, he can really sing. Um, and I'm pretty sure he was playing the guitar there himself as well. Um, but Let's see what the actor's name is here. Hard to say, Noah, but uh, it Noah was Noah Reed. Ella, I'm sorry, what was it? Noah Reed. Noah, I think I said Ella. I'm like, that is not a man's name. <laughs> Noah <laughs> Reed. Name. I'm going to look him up later. because He's a not, musician. He's a musician? He is. There you go. Because I have not seen him in anything else uh, besides this. Um, but man, does he have some talent. He does. Uh, just another uh, reminder of how hard it is to really break out in Hollywood. <laughs> it's like, I got it. I've got you know, oozing talent, also, but I still can't make it. So it. It said he's Canadian, which makes okay, sense because sure. this is a Canadian show. Sure. Um, but you're right. I mean, it's not that like you know Canada is so far far away from Hollywood. Right. I mean, like ge geographically it it is, but at the same time, I mean, it's like, Ryan Reynolds is Canadian. He's done okay for himself. Ryan Gosling's Canadian. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean? Right. Yeah. So, and I think Shit's Creek is so it's very much in the mainstream right yeah, now. Yeah, absolutely. So I mean, Let's I'm kind of surprised right. that more of these people haven't been in more stuff since the show has ended. It's only right. been a couple of years, and obviously sure. there was a pretty big thing in the world that happened. So. Right. Maybe down the road we'll see people and stuff. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But yeah, there's a lot of talent in a on in this cast, and there's a lot of beautiful people in this cast. Yeah. Um, I really feel like Andy Murphy has kind of she, had the the biggest run um, since the show a, ended. I, I haven't seen it, but she was in a, the new Black Mirror, I believe. Was she in the new Black Mirror? I haven't watched the new season yet. I'm not a big Black Mirror guy. I I, I like it. There's uh, a few episodes I've sure. seen that I'm like, okay, it's kind of fun, you know. Right. But, um, Dan Levy, he was in that awful, awful Idol TV show that was on HBO recently. Oh, right. I haven't watched it. I haven't heard good things. I watched an episode and a half, and I was like, that's enough. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Annie Murphy had her own show for a while there. Kevin can F himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I never watched it, but I've heard good things. Yeah, we talked about that, actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, kind of curious to see, you know, you, you always pull for people, you know, kind of going forward, and you really sure. like a show. And, and, you know, you go back and look at some, like, we're watching... Like the West Wing or or, yeah. or or Mad Men or things like that, and it's like, man, what a great cast! And after the show ended, like some some so many careers launched off of that. Like watch Ga watch Game of Thrones, you know? It's like yes. wow, yeah, look, how, look look how many superstars branched off of this show. Well, okay, so shows like Shit's Creek and Mad Men and like West Wing and stuff, I think it's way easier to get typecast from shows like that than it is like Game of Thrones. That's probably so true. many characters on Game of Thrones that are just like killed off or they're only right. there very briefly. So like it, it's more of like catapulting you into the mainstream you know sure whereas this is like oh that's that's moira rose right right that's alexis it's, it's kind of I mean? like you know even even if he didn't go on his career ending rant you know michael richards would have had a hard time being a career after being kramer, after being kramer for, kramer so, for long. so long yeah, yeah exactly like pedro pascal in game of thrones nobody nobody thinks pedro pascal thinks game of thrones they think oh he was right. on game of thrones but he's on all but he, but he was only in one season right exactly. so he was able exactly. to yeah, yeah he was able to go on and do other things i mean yeah. but by the way side note before we move on here pedro pascal what kind of agent does he have where he goes <laughs> Game of Thrones to Narcos to The Mandalorian to The Last of Us? I mean, you want to talk about Bat in a Thousand. And then you like <laughs> sprinkle in some amazing movie roles. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, he's really, he's crushing it, man. <laughs> yeah. Good for Pedro and good for whoever helps him pick his roles because he nailed that. Absolutely. Anyway, we do want to welcome some new Patreon subscribers for the weekend, guys. Or it would have been last week by the time you're watching this. Uh, Delaney Porter, Anna Moni, JB Smoove. Please, please be you. Uh, Jessica C, Luke Schleer, Brianna J, Naomi, and sorry. Thank you so much and welcome, guys. We really, really do appreciate you being here. You guys rock. Uh, and if you're watching us on YouTube for the first time, welcome to our channel. Yes, thank if you. If you do not mind hitting that like button for us, leave us a comment down below. Tell us more about Shit's Creek. No spoilers, but yeah, if you guys are have any... spoiler-free zone here, guys. Exactly. If you have any fun 
facts about Schitt's Creek, anything you guys know that we don't know about it, let yeah. us know. We love that stuff. Tell us about Noah Reed, what you know about him beyond uh, Schitt's Creek, because yeah. I'm really curious, because like I said, man, this guy is, I mean, obviously the the entire cast is good, no denying that, yeah. but but as, a, as kind of an unknown, man, he is He's oozing talent. Yeah, He's absolutely. So drop a couple singles of his down below. Absolutely. Uh, and if you don't mind hitting that subscribe button so you can stay up to date, sure. hit that button for us. And if you'd like to see the full and reaction to this and everything else we've watched or are watching, and it's becoming quite a list. Yeah. Um, please check out the link to the, in the description below to our Patreon page. You can go through and watch all of Shit's Creek with us again, which would be really cool because we have been loving the show from day one. It's a delight. It really is, isn't it? Uh, absolutely. One of the lighter shows we're watching because some of them get pretty dark. <laughs> There's a lot of darkness over here. All right. <laughs> Ew. What so are you smart. all doing here? Yeah. We have a surprise for you. Judging from the looks on your faces, I don't want it. Oh, that's but awesome. No one's sharing the cookie. And second of all, <laughs> Patrick is not being invited to a barbecue. Is he pulling Why? Up? No. But could yeah. you just <laughs> embrace joy? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> embrace joy. Fall apart. I'm going to use that. That's good for one. Texting a bunch of letters and saying your phone was unlocked in your purse. Right? I used to text Zach. Nope, these are things I've not done. Yeah. Whenever I wanted a booty call. Oh Isn't God. it easier to just be direct? Either way, you get an answer. You're like super smart. When, when you said you found a grill, this isn't exactly what I had in mind. Yeah. Well, what'd you expect, Johnny Benihana? <laughs> this is nothing like what I'm used to cooking on. You get charcoal, dude. But didn't know about. What are you doing? I told you I didn't want to make a big deal out of this. David, you can't talk. Well, I was in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd just pop in and say hey. I was going to send a text. But um, I thought it'd be better if just bought a hundred dollars worth of sliders. Geez, Johnny, thanks for rubbing it in when you know I can't come. Not calling it off. I just have to figure this thing out. Right. Cut to. You are living an exciting new chapter in the book on tape of your life. I love how involved she is with you know, making sure yourself. she's doing okay. Yeah. <laughs> At least you got your answer. You know what, Rage? Part of me feels like we were destined to meet today. <sighs> Came here to win someone back. And it didn't happen. So my big grand gesture ends here. Why don't you come with me to the barbecue that my parents are throwing? We can be each other's little, little dainties. I would love that. Everybody, this is my new friend, Rachel. She's having a bit of a day. Pat I, mean? oh. I told him he was out of the quicksand. But he's not, Joe, and he's sinking. I think he's fine. <laughs> I don't, do yeah. I David, come on, David. <laughs> we got Ted stuff going on here. Come on. All right, let's talk about the reaction here let's at the end down. of that. All right, so, um, go ahead. Sorry, I was just going to say, looking at it, the, the, the one thing that Patrick did wrong was that he didn't tell David, Disclosed right? Disclose the relationship. Right, in that he, he, when he said, well, I don't want to mess things up, well, you didn't trust David enough to tell him about it, not to overreact or to, but other than that, I don't see what the overwhelming deal is. Uh, as a person, I feel like we've all been out with our significant others and run into one of their exes. It's I've awful. done it. It's, it's awful. awful, but you don't like tell your ex to go or tell your 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 current partner to go away and, and seclude yourself and feel bad for yourself for you know for yeah. for hours. Um, that's not it. Um, it is awful. You're right, but yeah. I you're think not, I, I think his reaction is more the fact that like. Oh, this is, wasn't an ex girlfriend. This is your fiance. You know what I mean? I guess. But at the same time, it's ex fiance. You know, and like if, if yeah, ex wife, I feel like would have been a bigger deal. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, ex wife would be crazy. Right. Um, but no, you're right. You you really are right. It's not it's not that big of a deal. It's I don't a, think so. It's a crazy coincidence for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but no, Patrick saying what he said to David and being like, "You have nothing to worry about." And I agree. Like, yeah, I care about you. And also, we have to look at it this way too. David has been out most of his life, I feel right. like. This is very new for Patrick. Yep. And he even said things didn't feel right for so long until I met you. So David is just, I guess, struggling to see it from Patrick's perspective because in you think many, many ways, Patrick is kind of starting a new life now. Do you think it's because it was a woman? No. Is that part so. of it? David, that, David, David's he reaction? Likes the, he likes the, what was his analogy with the wine? He likes the wine right. and the label. Gotcha. You know, so I, I don't think it's the fact that it was a woman. I, I just think the fact that it was uh, 
this big of a surprise four months in and you haven't told me that you were engaged at one point in time i don't know for, for me and i could be wrong and i don't want to and i'm not trying to to, to harp on on david at all here but sure. i feel like david's always expecting his relationships to blow up so he's always a foot one foot outside the door kind of guy i think it's more of that so i feel like this thing happening gives him exactly what he wanted yep. and exactly what he's waiting for like oh i knew it i can't be in a happy relationship um, I think that's exactly right. I think I think this is his default setting when he's dating somebody. I don't think it's that it actually happened. I think right. it's a possibility of something happening. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, it's just like yeah. David's always like, "Oh, I knew it. I knew something terrible was going to happen." I'm like, "Something yeah. terrible didn't really happen. You ran into one of your boyfriend's exes. That's all that happened. That's it. Um, that's it. It's they're out there for every person. It's just a fact of life, you know? right? You either you either marry your first love <laughs> or you have exes out there that could be run into, and that's that's just how it is. So yeah, I I, I don't know. Maybe he, the, the fact that he didn't tell him that he had a fiance is something that can bother him a little bit. But I don't I don't feel like it's. I need some time to be alone, feeling sorry for myself for 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 a day. Um, is is really it? Maybe I'm being too harsh on David, but I don't see the scope of the reaction. Yeah. You know, he if he was still dating her, if she was showing up like, "Hi, honey, let's go look at rings." Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but then, but then yeah. by all means, this is a thing. But the fact that Patrick had broken up with her before they started dating, he moved, to, he moved there, moved away, and had no intention of getting back together with her, and not and had not signaled to her that he wanted to get back together with her. It's a, it's just an old relation, ex relationship. That's all it is. Yeah. Let me know, guys. Uh, for those of you watching, let let me know if I'm missing something, or if I'm being overly harsh on on David, or if you think that this is a bigger deal that I'm making it. I just looking at the information we have. I was just like, oh, this ex is here. Awkward, but I thought awkward and not like upsetting. You know what I mean? Sure. The only I'm in your camp, by the way, but I I do think the only upsetting nature of it is how how much of a coincidence it is. You know, like I would be a little like shook by it too, but only because of like just the nature of it all. It's like, oh, how, what are the odds? You sure. I mean? But no, I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I mean... It's not be mad at Patrick and not talk to him kind no, of deal. No, 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 I mean, no. I mean, like, I get him wanting, maybe taking a day, you know, maybe taking a day be like, hey, let's just call it a night. I need to, like, you know, process I mean, yeah, this. Right. You know, I'm, like, give me a night to reset and we'll be fine. We're good. But he yeah. didn't But he didn't even say that. No, he didn't. It, they left it up in the air. Right. And it shouldn't have been. No, it should not have been. And, the brilliance of this episode, though, is is the writing in the sense that, like, the whole episode, everyone's telling David, it's okay, you know what I mean? Like, Right, lay your guard down, you'll be Let fine. Yeah. Down. Everything's great, you know what I mean? Like, four months is no small feat. And then we had the mysterious guest in the background. And, and I was like, wondering where we were going with her, because I kept bringing her back, and I'm like, what, what, is, what is her significance? For, for a yeah. second, I thought it was going to be Ted, because she said she's here in Shit's Creek for somebody else. But then I was like, well, Alexis said Ted's name out loud in front of her, right. so there's no way it's Ted. Right, right. And I was like, oh, I wonder who it is. Like, I did not consider Patrick at all. Yeah, I didn't either. I did not see that coming whatsoever. No. And, um, well, partially because we don't really know anything about Patrick. Right, yeah. We don't know anything about him except well, for he's new to Shit's Creek. Right. Well, and we and know that, and we know that he's new to a gay relationship. So, yeah. but, but, and with that, I had never even considered the fact that they're ex girlfriends of his. But also in the world, you know, they met the the, the first night that they stayed in. Uh, yeah. Stanley's what's house. his name? My God, what is his name? The, what was the guy's name, guys? The one that was trying to have a thruple with <laughs> with Stevie and David. David, it's um, very good to see you. And he, like, right, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. He was trying to have a poly relationship that David and Alexis were definitely not into. And they invited Patrick to come as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't remember. Uh, but no, Patrick was pretty gracious about that. Mm -hmm. and that, that. I feel like that's a similar situation. I feel like it's almost identical. You know what I mean? I feel like it is almost identical. Would you so feel, I don't know why David... Would you feel weirder about meeting... Like, if, if you're with a... a a partner, right? When you're out in public. Would you feel weird about meeting a person that she had he he or she had a one night stand with, or someone that they were actually like in a relationship with? I don't know. Maybe maybe this is my insecurities talking, but I think I'd feel more uncomfortable with a one night stand. That's what than, I'm than with the relationship. That's what I, I don't know why why that is. I think it's more because it's just. Like, I think it's more to think about your partner being kind of a promiscuous person. That at one point, like, you know what I mean? Mean anything like this right. person didn't care about you? Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. Like, no, yeah. There's something there, but but again, it's not I'm, no no hate on anyone in the situation. No, no, no. Just my insecurities talking. I'd be more comfortable with that. That's what I'm saying. I'm right. the same boat. I'm the right. stranger when I stands or like you know saying it's a bad thing or anything. Right. Yeah. But like that feels like it cuts deeper than being like, oh, I was in a relationship. This, like, yeah, this was my boyfriend or girlfriend for six years or six months. Yeah, whatever. yeah. yeah. No, no, I some agree. Random person, you know? Yeah. So yeah, exactly. I, th I think hookups would bother you more. I, I me 
for sure. And Patrick seemed to handle that well. Right, yeah, he know? did. He, he made it so he's like, oh, we'll definitely talk about it later. Well, I kind of made a joke about it. Yeah. Um, but this just kind of highlights David's insecurities. Exactly. Like, That's what I was going to say is the, the one thing you can forgive David for is that. And I don't necessarily think he's mad at Patrick. I think he's more, he said it himself, he's damaged goods. Yeah. He's more in his own head than anything else. It's his insecurities getting to him. And I, I appreciate the fact that David was able to say that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he was, in fact, the more I think about it, the more I... I'm starting to understand David's the more we talk about it, the more I'm understanding David's perspective. Yeah. You're right. He did he's like, I get it. You know, this you know, when he said I'm damaged goods, it might just be like, I know this isn't as big a deal as I'm making it and I'm going to make it in my my head. Yeah. But I'm going to because of of every you know, because of all my baggage, I'm gonna make make this a bigger deal. And so right now, that's how it feels. And it could be the opposite for them. Like we yeah. said, we're more comfortable with the one night stand guy. We're probably more relationship people than 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 David is. Than, than, yeah, than David is. You right. know what I mean? So the fact that like he's not into the whole relationship thing, it wouldn't be that awkward for one night stand. Oh, well, you're probably right. It's probably the opposite. So it's yeah, kind of like a little reverse thing there. That's a really good insight. Joe's genius, guys. <laughs> keep in I mind, have my moments. Keep in mind, yeah. Joe definitely has his moments. That was that was actually a really good observation there. So it could just be a little bit of yin and yang there. Obviously, sure. Patrick and David have enough in common, but at the same time, they yeah, they've lived different lives. They've completely different lives. Absolutely, yeah. they've li- they've come from incredibly different backgrounds. So yeah. Um, Again, I, I just want to reiterate, I'm, there's no hate for David. He's dealing with his own. Oh, yeah, no he's he's dealing with tons of emotional baggage because they spent the whole episode talking about it. Him and yeah. Moira were talking about the emotional baggage. His, his background isn't great in relationships. And this just kind of reaffirms that in a way. And yet at the same time, when you really think about the situation, it's not that big a deal that they just ran into one of Patrick's exes. Nah. Not as much as David's going to make it because of his background. You know what's funny is that like when I was 20... Or when I was like in, in college, you know, like this was way more of a big deal than it is now. Okay. I'm, tw- I'm 27, so like t- this happened today, I'd be like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> much more so, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. The more, I, I, maybe the more exes you have out there, more you're like, it's inevitable. We're gonna run into one of them. <laughs> exactly. That's the, older, the world. The older you get, the more you're just like, ah, there's a lot of people in this world. You know what I mean? Have you ever had a nightmare? Because I have, where I walked into a room and every single person I've ever dated was in that room. All, uh, yeah, similar, all, yeah. all to yell at me at once. I think it was. <laughs> I it really was did. Me. It was more than like fighting each other. Oh, and I was like, oh, this is so weird. It's that's weird. No, mine was a nightmare because mine was. I walked in and they were all there to yell at me. I don't know what was going on in my head that day, but like every girl I've ever dated was in the room ready to just go off on me. Like, oh, God, no, no, was, like, screaming at you, yeah, was, throwing tomatoes. Yeah, at you. that that one really stuck with me because I was like, no, oh, settle in. This is gonna hurt. But thank God I woke up before we all really got rolling. Wake up in a cold sweat. Yeah, I mean, really I woke up and like. Ah. <laughs> Sit, I'm not sleeping ever again. Oh, thank God. I'm just on the, on the, t- on the, on the couch in front of the TV. We're good. All right, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. See you.